a market master for the day, Gautam Chaucharya, head of India Research at UBS Securities, joins us now. Good morning, Gautam. Good to have you with us. And here's wishing you a very, very happy new year. Uh, well, uh, how will the new year pan out for uh, Indian equities? You think uh, we've done nothing in the first uh, few week, uh, first few days of the month. Uh, do you think we will do anything like we did last year? Good morning and happy new year to you and the viewers. Uh, it will be difficult to repeat 2014 uh, in terms of returns. Uh, so, so I won't recommend investors to ho to hope for that kind of returns in this year itself. Uh, mm. From a macro point of view, it's still a year where we, we are still still seeing the early signs of growth recovery happening. Uh, the cycle is bottoming out. We'll see early signs of recovery, and still too early to expect uh, the high high growth rates which we have seen last decade. And therefore, it's still early days for markets to 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 deliver. Uh, very very high returns or something what we saw last year. And last year was coming off a very very low base uh, in terms of valuations and expectations. Uh, but we're still looking at uh, reasonable uh, returns this year. So our nifty target for the year and still remains uh, 9600 uh, which does indicate 16-17% uh, returns from current levels. So investors should still uh, look at equities as, as offering good returns. Uh, and, and this will be driven largely by earnings also, not just by valuation re-rating or expectations running high. Uh, multiples are still reasonable uh, uh, and the early stage of recovery or even a slight recovery uh, will be enough in our view to drive double-digit earnings growth. And that's what will drive this, uh, this return uh, for investors this year. What are you factoring in by way of earnings, Gautam, for FI, both FY15 and 16? Uh, you know, some of the macro numbers are still looking bad, whether it is tax paid or whether it is the IIP number. Uh, do you think there is a downgrade before there are breaks? So in the short term, there could be. FI15, there could be downgrades. Uh, FI16, uh, the estimates which, which I saw was around 17% odd on a bottom-up basis. Mm. Uh, from a top-down strategy perspective, I'm pen penciling in a 15% earnings growth for next year. And this is based on our uh, historical uh, long-term analysis, and it's very intuitive, and that whenever we see the economic trajectory turning, not necessarily at a very high pace, but even a turn, uh, that does drive some operating leverage and earnings growth to, 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 uh, to come back to trend. So 15% seems a reasonable estimate top-down for, for us next year, FI16. Uh, in the immediate term, uh, this is something which we have been pointing out for a while, that if you look at uh, what the market is expecting or factoring in and where the surprises are, uh, for us, uh, the, the growth was an element where we expected the markets to be surprised negatively because we are building in a gradual, mild recovery. Uh, we're still in the phase of fiscal and monetary consolidation, still early days for growth to really, really pick up. While on the other hand, we do expect inflation and interest rate trajectory. Now it's much more consensus that rates will come down, inflation is, is, is now coming down. But we still expect the pace and trajectory to surprise uh, in terms of market expectations. So if I look at 2015, while growth will, will, will be slightly below what the market is looking at, uh, inflation and rates will surprise positively. And combination of these two will still be enough for earnings to, 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 be, uh, to, to be positive and around 15% uh, odd growth for next year. Hmm. Gautam, hi, good morning uh, and happy new year to you. Uh, the stock that has taken everyone's breath away in the first fortnight of this year clearly is the HUL. Um, how do you, as an investor, how do you approach that stock now? So it, it, it's been an expensive stock and, and it's become more expensive and there are some, some expectations that uh, company specific strategies will help it uh, de de deliver uh, growth and returns much more than uh, what uh, investors were looking at earlier. And that could very well be so uh, in, in terms of in investor specific, uh, company specific issue. But top down from a strategy perspective, uh, we still underweight consumer staples uh, because as we saw, the growth has been tepid and growth recovery is likely to be still gradual and behind some of the exuberant expectations and more so in, in, in rural India. So top down strategy wise, uh, we still underweight staples and uh, lever is not, not really a preferred pick for us. You are underweight all of them. I mean. Uh, none of the imamis, dabbers, bajaj corp, uh, none of them would come in the list. So we have, bu so we have buys on few, but, uh, but from a strategy perspective, we definitely recommend underweight. Okay. Uh, the names where we we are comfortable in the broad consumer space is 
uh, Asian paints, so mm -hmm. which remains one of the yes. top topics for us in the uh, strategy also. Okay. Uh, you know, the one theme that many have been talking about, and I noticed it in your report as well, is the upcoming coal block auctions. And if it's successful, then it will be a big positive catalyst for many sectors, power utilities, capital goods, etc. How do you play that theme? Uh, and what are the stocks to pick up there? So, uh, uh, the, uh, the, it, it will have multiple uh, level impact uh, direct, directly on uh, companies which, uh, which are stuck for, for these coal mines. Uh, but but in, in our view, it will also kind of uh, uh, make the macro outlook much more clearer because uh, coal and uh, therefore power, uh, these are sectors which have had huge issues over the last few years. And they, they have kind of blocked capital, have clogged the banking system, and has played a big role in terms of the economic activity and growth rates in India. So as we unclog that, uh, that will make, make the macro outlook, and when we say growth recovery, etc., uh, coal is, 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 is a key bottom like there. So in our tablet perspective, the two areas of reforms, which are very critical, uh, even for a short-term uh, economic recovery, so when you talk about next two years, growth recovery, etc., coal and land remain key reform areas, <coughs> uh, which will be key for this recovery to sustain. Uh, the other reforms which you talk about are more medium term and long term. But this coal will be a big one, both from a sentiment point of view, obviously, but even more so from an economic activity perspective for next two years. So are there any stocks that you would be recommending? Yeah, to will you buy theme? Coal India or will you buy Power Utilities? Any, uh, I mean, how, how, how do you tackle this as an investor? So you, you, you don't want to buy, I think every, everything will benefit. Uh, coal okay. India also will benefit, the power utilities will benefit. Uh, but, but for us, the preferred strategy-wise pick still remains the banking sector. So even they, they benefit a lot from this. Of course. But uh, in the banks, uh, uh, can you rattle out some names or at least uh, preferences? Would it be uh, whole hog on public sector banks, which obviously are more exposed? So not, just, we're not making any recommendation just based on the coal theme per se, but uh, for, from our perspective, we'll, we'll like the entire financial services space, uh, from private to government to, uh, to, to uh, uh, wholesale funded banks to NBFC. So mm -hmm. for us, uh, we, we, our preferred picks include names like HDFC Bank and ICC Bank in the large private banks to Indusind Bank in the uh, smaller, smaller wholesale funded ones, and LIC Housing and, and SBI and PNB in, in the government bank side. Mm -hmm. You think this... Uh, uh, reforms in the public sector banking space uh, that was uh, uh, discussed and triggered at Pune uh, a week ago will make a seminal change in the entire space. Will that be a buy reason to buy? Uh, that, that, even if that change happens, that will take a long time to play out in terms of fundamentals. Uh, so, mm -hmm. and we've seen some similar promises being made earlier. So, I won't really bet on that to begin okay. with and, and buy the banks. Uh, based on just that theme, but uh, given where the valuations and in absolute terms are for government banks and the uh, gap with the private banks, even despite having done well, uh, we still still continue to like the, the government banks. Okay. Um, the other theme that's played out very well is this uh, nascent recovery in the domestic economy, and we've seen it, uh, you know, in in spaces like cement that that stocks have rallied about 10, 15 percent um, in the last couple of weeks. Is this a space that you like, and what are the top preferred picks here? So we don't have coverage right now because okay. of turnover there, but yeah, as a space that should benefit from the recovery, definitely. Okay, anything else that you would play um, in this domestic economy theme? Because, you know, not just, I mean, cement is one uh, angle, but you have so many other pockets, autos, etc., that are doing well, and I know these are spaces that you track closely. What would your top recommendations yeah. be there? So we continue to like Maruti uh, in, in the auto space, so that remains the preferred place uh, within the auto space as well as from our domestic recovery team. Uh, in the, the other domestic cyclical perspective, we continue to like names where they also benefit from uh, from uh, some, some raw material benefits like, like Asian paints. Uh, and then ultimately from a year or two perspective, we continue to like Titan. Uh, in the short term, it could be under pressure because of demand being muted, but uh, that should benefit. Okay. Actually, we were going to ask you exactly that because we've got our money control question, uh, uh, one of the money control boarders asking this question. Her name is Shahida Jiva, writes to us from Mumbai. She wants to know what is the outlook for Titan. Uh, well, since you've answered that in the positive, uh, I also want to know if you have any picks in the oil and gas space. So oil and gas, from a strategy perspective, we are over it. Uh, we like the entire in, entire sector, uh, and specifically given the way the crude has behaved. 
uh, and, and the benefits can be huge, uh, and, and it does just facilitate a lot of the things which the government has been wanting to do in terms of deregulation reforms, etc. Uh, as of now, we continue to like uh, in terms of being preferred picks. Uh, it still remains ONGC and, and the Reliance Industries for different reasons, uh, but the, 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 these two are the preferred picks in this space. All right, Gautam, that's a lot of stocks we could discuss with you. Thank you very much for joining us and have a great 2015 yourself.